Over the last decade, there has been rising concern for the state of the world's oceans. Today, we present the first systematic global analysis of a major lineage of fishes. Sharks raised in chimeras, the chondrichthians, represent one of the two major classes of fishes. These are the first vertebrate animals that evolved, and indeed in sharks and rays appeared the brains, placentas, and immune systems that characterize the vertebrates. Today, we learn through an analysis of over a thousand species, spanning work over two decades involving more than 300 people, that a quarter of sharks, rays, and chimeras are threatened with an elevated risk of extinction. And this is mainly due to overfishing and habitat loss and degradation. Our unprecedented analysis shows that sharks and their relatives, which make up one of the Earth's most iconic, distinctive, and old lineages of backbone animals, face an alarmingly high risk of extinction. This risk is particularly high for those largest bodied individuals that live in the shallowest water that's most accessible to fishing. One of the surprising findings from this research is that the rays are generally worse off than sharks. It turns out that five out of the seven most threatened families are made up of rays. While the public media and government attention is mostly focused on the effects that we've been having on shark populations, it turns out that the widespread depletion of the closely related rays has actually been going on unnoticed. So conservation action for rays is lagging behind that for sharks, which only heightens our concern for this uh, group of species. First, research, data collection and monitoring. Second, we need to assess populations. Third, we need to set fishing limits. We need widespread bans at at sea fin and wing removal. Six, we need protection of key habitats and improved enforcement. Finally, we need improved cooperation and the use of international initiatives through wildlife treaties and regional fisheries bodies. If you want to learn more about the status of the world's sharks, rays and chimeras, go to the eLife website where you can download our open access paper.